Yeah, that's an European international project that has been conducted under the auspices and the umbrella of the European Hematology Association, the Scientific Working Group on Granular Sites and Constitutional Marrow Failure, and a concerted action which is named UNET Unicron Action 18233, which is a European consortium working on neutropenia, which is chaired by my colleague Helen Papadaki from Greece. So, uh, what is relevant in these new guidelines? The guidelines come. Um, for just suggesting recommendations on how to handle the diagnosis and the post-diagnosis management of patients with the neutropenia, either in children or in adults. Um, a recommendation which, uh, being related to a, um, rare disorders, have a kind of pitfall. The pitfall is that the literature is not so strong in supporting statesmen to be voted. But this, to a certain extent, applies to all the rare disorders, particularly in pediatric hematologists. So this is what we have in our hand, and this is the best we can really do. Having said that, uh, I think that the most relevant point in these new guidelines are related to the fact that we try to recommend on how to run the diagnosis in neutropenia in children and adults, meaning that we try to recommend uh, what is the right test at the right time in the right population. And that applies on when doing bone marrow aspiration, either at diagnostic stage or over the follow-up, and applies on how to handle the genetic testings uh, mm, over the diagnostic workup or also over the follow-up, which testing apply and on which biological source, peripheral blood or marrow, or marrow cells. So all these points are discussed and stated and voted by the, con the expert consensus. Um, we also try to clarify uh, some uh, nomenclature issue. The formerly called ethnic neutropenia has now been the renamed ADEN, which is acronymous for atypical cytokine receptor 1 duffy related antigen associated neutropenia. It's a long name. Uh, and this is being highlighted in order to focus more on the genetic origin rather than the ethnic. This is a neutropenia which is a condition rather than a disease when you have low neutrophils but you don't have infection and it's due to inheritance at the heterozygous uh, state of a polymorphism in the promoter of the Duffy antigen gene. Uh, the other thing is it relevant is uh, we identify a new provision or category in the neutropenia setting which is named likely acquired neutropenia. It's related to children who have specific autoimmune or immunological feature and who uh, have neutropenia either with or without antibodies and are likely to deserve deeper genetic investigation because they may conceal a genetic disorder related to primary immune deficiency and uh, uh, primary immune dysregulation disorder. Um, what is important to highlight in the monitoring is that um, uh, the monitoring plan we suggested for surveillance Neutropenia in many cases are precancer disorders like constitutional bone marrow failure. And so you need surveillance to intercept the momentum, to intervene prior that the disease works and it becomes a, a leukemic or a preleukemic disorder. In this respect, the surveillance plan has been identified and recommended, but also uh, uh, in other marrow failure syndromes, recently our group identified a kind of algal, which has been discussed at the American Society of Hematology at the last meeting in December 2022, in which the main point is that trying to intercept the momentum with a strict marrow surveillance, this is the case, for instance, of Franconi anemia, to intervene and to pick up morphological changes, cytogenetic changes, molecular changes that can be uh, orientating the disease towards a leukemic progression, which is something you don't want to really want, because if you treat the patient once he's progressed to MDS leukemia, the prognosis and the chances of getting good treatment are fairly, fairly low. There are some challenges that are left. Uh, the current guidelines in neutropenia uh, that been behind by the colleagues and friend Ellen Papadaki and Francesca Fioredda from our team related, are related to diagnosis and post-diagnosis management. But we didn't do anything about the treatment, or better, we did the treatment and we're still working on that, but they are not out yet, they're not published yet. So this is a work in progress, and I think that we will be able to further discuss that hopefully by the end of this year, just contributing further to giving recommendation on how to handle the treatment of uh, this uh, uh, rare disease in the community of pediatric hematology patients.